today we're going to create an organizational chart in Excel. Forget smart art, forget shapes, they're not dynamic. Once your organizational data changes, let's admit they do change quite a lot. New people come in, people move. Your shapes don't change unless you manually move them around. And the smart art doesn't update unless you manually type the names in. Those times are gone. Get ready for a surprise. First thing you need is data for your org chart. In this example, I'm going to show the organizational chart just for the finance department. And I have the data set up in this way. Now, I'm going to show you why in a second. But basically what it comes down to is that I have the employee names. Each employee has a unique ID. I have the title and the manager ID. This is the person the employee reports to. So this one that doesn't have a manager ID, it means that they're boss 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 of the whole department here. And then I have the type of employee and you're going to see where this comes in in a second. That's the data I want to plot. I want to plot this in a dynamic way so that if someone shifts positions, it's going to get reflected in the chart. If I have new people added, they're going to get reflected in the org chart without me having to do a lot of manual updates. There's actually one manual thing I need to do, and that's to press the refresh button. So here's how you do it. Let me just go to an empty sheet. What you need to do is to insert a free add-in from Microsoft. So all you have to do is go to insert, click on get add-ins, type Visio in the search box. This add-in that we're going to use is a Visio add-in, but here's the best part. You don't need to have a Visio subscription to use the Visio add-in for Excel. All you need to have is Excel for Office 365. It's an official add-in from Microsoft. It's currently in preview, so expect this to be updated and improved on soon. Click on Add. You can see and read the license terms and then click on Continue. And then this is going to show up in your Excel file. It's called the data visualizer. And here you don't just have the org chart, but you can create a flow chart, a cross functional flow chart, or an organizational chart. Next step is to select a type of chart that you want. In this example, I'm going to go with hybrid. If for some reason you click on this and it tells you you're not logged in, you can log in. If you're logged in under an account that doesn't have Office 365, make sure you sign out and you sign back in with the account that has Office 365. So next step was to pick the one that you want. Let's go with hybrid. The moment you do that, it's going to create a template table for you and it's going to visualize that template right here. So this data is connected to this template. This is not my data, it's just standard data that came with the add-in. The purpose of this is that you see the structure that this org chart needs. Before I copy and paste my data over this, let's just take a look at how this is structured. We have on top Bianca, Bianca is right here. Then we have people that are reporting to Bianca. So we can see ID one and ID one, we have two managers right here. Now notice also that we have different colors here. So managers are reflected with this green. Staff has the color blue and consultants. So that's Mattia Sabatini is reflected with orange. So let's say, for example, that one of these staff members becomes a consultant. Let's take this person. If I switch this to consultant, and I press refresh, this diagram gets updated. This is connected to this. Every time you make changes here, you need to press refresh to get it reflected in your chart. Now let's bring in our own data. Well, first step is to make sure you have it in the structure that the Visio add-in understands. And I've already done that. So I'm gonna copy this, paste it right here. I think I have one more person than this, but it's no problem for the chart because this is an official Excel table. The moment I refresh this, 
it's going to put in my information in this chart, right? So if you take a look at this data and take a look up here, it says table design. This table is called table one and it's automatically connected to this. What happens if I add more people to this? Well, let's say I add a duplicate ID by mistake. I'm going to put ID two. I already have ID two here. What happens when I press refresh? I get this data checker. It says that this row number and this one have a duplicate employee ID. So I'm going to change that. Let's go with 30 and I'll just add myself in working on videos. Let's report to Roger Moon. He has ID 20 and let's say I'm a consultant. I'm going to press refresh and we see my name pop up here. If I happen to change division, so if I need to move to Daniela's division, all I have to do is change the ID that I'm reporting to. Daniela has ID two and press refresh and I'm right here, right? So you can zoom into this. You can make the chart area bigger so the zoomed in version would fit in properly, or you can click on this icon here to fit the diagram to your space. This way you get to have an org chart that's dynamic and it's connected to cells. Now, before we wrap this up, let me just show you one of those flow chart diagrams as well. So once you have the add-in installed, you can get back to it by going to insert my add-ins and you'll see it under the recently used add-ins. Just click on it and it pops up here. Here is a basic flow chart and here we have a cross functional flow chart. So let's just click on this one and see how it looks and the template that we need. So this flow chart has a different setup. We have process step IDs, the description of the process step, connector labels. So if it's a yes and a no, the shape type, let me just move this out of the way. The function is what we see here. So you just have to update this to fit your function. So let's say we have project managers, we have subject matter experts, and we have our users here. You update this, you can add in as many lines as you need, and then press refresh and you see the data reflected in here. You can also save this as PDF or print it out directly. Just go to the more options here and click on open in web. We come to this page here. You can click on more options here, directly print this or download this as PDF. One thing to note is if you want to change the way this looks, you need to have a Visio license in order to be able to edit this in Visio. So when I click this, it says you need an Office subscription with a license for Visio if you want to edit this. Otherwise, if you're okay with the way this looks, you can use it without a Visio license. I hope you enjoyed this data linked org chart in Excel. As you can see, there's a lot of new and useful developments in Excel for Office 365. If you're excited about these, hit that thumbs up. If you don't have Office 365 yet, consider getting it and get prepared to simplify your work.